interview and job search strategies at work. In this um, episode, I'd like to talk to you about what, uh, when you go for an interview, what can they talk to you about? What can they ask you? Um, of course, there's, you know, legally, whatever, quote unquote, um, they can ask you about, um, you know, your creed, your religion, race, age, sex, orientation, or uh, marriage status. Yeah. So anyway, um, but okay. So they may ask you like, uh, hey, tell me about yourself, right? And, you know, um, sometimes they're trying to like get at like uh, having you tell you, ha- having you tell them like something, um, uh, what's wrong with you basically, you know, because they want to try to predict predict um your future employment there you know what is this person going to be like when they uh when they come on board so uh the recommendation is to um keep it short keep it like you know under a minute or two minutes right um tell them you know basically where you're born maybe um, when you were raised or where you were raised rather um some of your interest um some of the things you've you've done like um what have you, the work you've done or you've enjoyed uh, the most? So probably one of the things they're looking for is um, you uh, outworked your competition or you you did more than you, uh, you did more than what you had to do at work. You did more than what was expected of you. Another interview question is, um, you know, what kind of... Um, what kind of work are you looking for, right? So they want to know um, if the, the, what kind of job are you looking for, basically? You know, if the job calls for like a, a leadership role or an, let's say a job calls for like a non-leadership role, but you're looking for a leadership role, that's going to tell them, okay, this is, you know, he, he or she doesn't know what the, the, the job is or they're not looking uh, for what we're hiring for. Because you, you may have uh, seen the job description, right? And you may have um, talked to whoever about it and um, your interpretation of the job may be different than what it really is. So that kind of clears that up. What would help is um, if you, you know, um, tell them what you you think the job is basically, you know, I think the job is X, Y, Z, you know, I think the duties are this and that and the other. And that's going to, when you tell them, uh, the recruit or the person interviewing you, that's going to tell them, Oh, okay. That person knows, you know, they're really looking for this. Yeah. Okay. So we're on the same page. Um, you may put it back on them and say, um, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to tell you, uh, I'd like to answer that question, um, but I need to understand what what are the tasks involved in this job. You know, um, another question um, is, um, have you ever done anything like this before? Any type of work like this before? What they're looking for is um, they want to, you know, see if you, you have the skills, right? You know, do you have the technical skills that they need uh, to fill the position, basically? So, like, if you don't, right, um, let's say, for instance, um, IT, and you're a sysadmin, or, yeah, you're a sysadmin, right? Um, Or, no, you're a help desk, right? And the job is sysadmin. And you might want to say, like, um... Uh, or the the thing you're the point you're getting across to them is hey, um, the skills are similar. You know I have transferable skills from from sys uh, from help desk to sys admin. You know and what helps is like also um, I'm I'm a quick learner. Um, you know I don't I haven't mastered a lot of stuff, but I've I've picked up a lot of stuff quickly. You know I'm not a master of one thing. I just pick up things as I go, but I I'm very quick to pick them up. And to learn them, yeah. Another one, right? So, um, why did you lose? Why did you leave your last job? You know, why do you want to work here? Basically, not why do you want to work here, but why did you leave your last job? Um, you know, that's always one that recruiters always like to ask. Like, yeah, okay, what what they're looking for, right? Um, they're looking to see if you get along with other folks. 
in the in the well the company will you will you fit into their culture right they're trying to fish out like are um are you a are you angry person at work do you complain a lot um do you not like the coworkers you're working with or worked with before um this is kind of going to tell them like like if you you say like oh there's just really bad company before like whoa what's going on you know or you're you're better off uh just saying like you know speaking um speaking in good in good uh, good manner about your former employer or your current employer um and just say you know um my my what i need in uh, a a job has changed say so something like um you know, get along with everybody everybody's happy we have a good attitude there's good culture there but you're looking for a change. That's all. You're just looking for a change. Maybe something like um, um, seeking. A, you know, I'm, the reason I'm looking for a change is kind of want to be more creative um, in what I'm doing. Um, you know, use my initiative uh, to just make work better. So if you were fired, right? For instance, from your last job, um, you could say something like. Um, um, you know, I got along with everybody else, um, but the, you know, management and I uh, d- didn't uh, get along with each other or we didn't see eye to eye, um, you know, and that's just how it is. So, yeah, uh, like if you also, if you were laid off, you could say like, uh, you know, my job was, um, um, you know, uh, closed out. My job was um, um Nullified, my job was terminated, my, you know, the contract ended, whatever. Yeah, um, another one is like, um, if you've been out of work a while, um, you know, if there's like uh, maybe a month or something like that, they're going to say, ask you like, um, I see there's, you know, or maybe there's gaps in your in your job history, maybe a couple months here, a couple months there, whatnot. They're going to say, um, tell me about, you know, why there's uh what about the gaps in your work history? They're kind of looking for if you're a type of person that um believe it or not um doesn't you know that quits their job um that you just bounce around when things get tough or um you know that type of uh, mentality. So for instance, if it was hard to get a job. Um, you know, say like a month or whatever, you didn't have a job or a couple months between jobs, you didn't have a job. You could maybe some say something like, um, when you were looking for work, you were, you were learning, uh, and you were, you were just, uh, trying to meet the challenge. You were trying to, um, use the opportunity to learn, to get more skills. You could say something like, um, you know, maybe you did some extra study work or volunteer work. Um, or you created a program, a code program, or something like that. Here's one that I have actually gotten um, a lot of. and Well, it's not that I haven't gotten a lot, but it sticks out in my mind the most. So, for instance, um, you know, if you have a, let's say you have a full-time job. This applies this way as well. And you're looking for a part-time uh, job, right? So, let's say you're a I don't know, system admin or something like that, um, in a full-time role, right, already. But you want to go to work part-time uh, as a call center job. You know, it's it's because um, you want extra income, right, for whatever reason. And, um, you know, you talk to your employer and they're like, um, you know, um, I see that you have this skill set and, you know, this, this role, this job would be a... Um, a step down, you know, why, why do you want to do that? Why, what's the reason you want to do that? Like you, you have too many more skills. You're overqualified basically for this. Why would you want to do this? You know, maybe they don't say why you want to do this, but that's what they're getting at. Um, you know, they may see that as like, you're trying to just, um, um, you know, you're going to leave, right? Basically. But you can say, you know, you know, they're like thinking, Oh, you're going to leave. Um, because they don't understand, they don't get that, they don't get it that um, you have a full time job and you're looking for a part time job. They see like, oh, uh, this person's going to leave because this job is is uh, beneath them basically, or they're overqualified for it. 
And maybe you could say something like, um, um, you know, I'm going to stick with this job. Um, I'm going to be here as long as, ne I ne as I'm needed. Yeah, I guess one thing you could say, like, um, you know, to help you out, I guess, is like, uh, um, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a second job because maybe I'm paying some bills off or whatever. And so I see this uh, job as a, ability to um, pay off bills. And that's the whole reason for here. I'm paying off extra bills um, so that, you know, I don't have to worry about uh, uh, bills in the future, you know. And it's you can you can appeal to their um, you know they're like twenty years on the job type of mentality some that some of them have and saying that yeah I want to make sure I have enough money for retirement you know um, pad my uh, retirement or whatever it is by taking this uh, part time uh, job because m most people see most people still see um, jobs that are like you know, work in their 20 years, get a pension or whatever, that they still see like, oh, that's way better than actually, um, you know, bouncing around. Um, you know, well, I'll just tell you, for instance, a lot of people still see, okay, let me work somewhere for 20 years at um, $50,000 a year, right? They still see that as a better option because there's benefits and retirement and all that. They see that as a better option than um, working five years somewhere at fifty thousand, and then working um, somewhere else for another, let's say, five years for a hundred thousand. You know, and every time you're bouncing around job to job, right? Or maybe one, you know, um, twenty jobs in twenty years, but each year you're getting a pay raise. You know, they don't see that as they don't see that as being reliable. Uh, because of like, okay, you're same with the company, working 20 years. And, um, you know, that's just not the reality anymore. I mean, um, companies, it just doesn't work. There's no, the IBMers of the world aren't, um, they're still there. But majority of uh, people or majority of companies, you know, they're not going to hire you for 20 years or so. And if they do, it's it's not going to be at the high high salary you're looking for. You know, I mean, um, you, you may say, OK, it's a union union job and, you know, awesome for you if you have a union job. Right. However, you're still paying dues. Right. For that. So maybe you make, I don't know, thirty dollars an hour or something like that. I don't know what the dues are, but maybe there are three or four dollars an hour or one dollar an hour, whatever it is. So you're, you're paying um, for the I guess the right to work there. Right. Basically. And so, uh, yeah. Another one, um, so tell me about your greatest weakness, right? They always ask weakness, you know, like the weakest thing, right? Um, maybe turn it around um, in saying like, you know, a greatest accomplishment, right? They're trying to um, get you to like um, basically uh, blurt out like, um, well, your, your moral character. Um, you're trying to confess, um, you know, something about like your your job, um, your, your job work ethic, something like that is what they were looking to hear about. Right. Right. Rather. Cause you know, a lot of, um, recruiters, they're, they're trying to, I wouldn't say disqualify you, but they're trying to, um, sift through and say, okay, this, this is why you shouldn't work here. Right. Basically. And when they, they don't have anything like that, um, to say, okay, you're, I'm trying to ask you questions to get you to um, get under pressure so that you'll uh, you'll make my job easier so that I don't have to hire you, basically, right? Or we can, you know, uh, you, you don't move to the next step, basically, in the next, uh, in next interview process or whoever it is that you're talking to next. So you could say something like, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like everybody else. Um, you know, I try to work hard uh, consistently and improve myself, but... You know, um, sometimes it doesn't reach that goal. You know, I mean, that, you're human after all, right? So, so something you might want to say is like, um, uh, you use like the sandwich method, I think. I've heard that. May you say something um, positive, then something, you know, not so nice, and then something positive. It's the sandwich method, I think. For instance, something like, um, you know, I, I don't uh, find, I don't like to be micromanaged, basically, you know. Um, 
because you know I have a lot of uh, initiative, right? So, and I anticipate problems uh, before they arise, and that could be a weakness actually. So, meaning I don't like to be micromanaged, or instead of saying micromanage, you could say like, you know, my weakness is I don't require a lot of um, supervision, basically, uh, for the position or the, the job I'm doing. Yep. Okay. So really appreciate everybody listening to this podcast and have a great day.